Hey guys, how's it going? I'm, uh, I'm back. There it goes. Uh, I'm back, yeah, so I've been sick for about three and a half weeks. Sorry for my absence, but uh, this thing's really been killing me. So what you're seeing right here is uh, sort of the tail end of probably, uh, uh, probably on about 12, 13 minutes so far. This is a, um, this is my Talon Hex. Completely redone with all my electronics. It's got my uh, Simon K flash speed controls. And um, kind of the whopper on this thing is my, uh, I think these are my version two or three prototype motors that I'm developing. And um, I'll let you know a little bit more about those as they go. I think my next step, which I'm actually waiting for, is going to be the big improvement. And um, after that, I'll be pretty much ready for market. But I've been developing these things for uh, almost two months now. And uh, this is the first time I'm letting anyone anyone see them fly. So this is me stress testing my equipment. I want to make sure that when I release anything under my name that it's not only purposely built, but you know, built to a specification that that's not going to fail someone. And um, a couple little things I'll, I'll let you know about these motors is I'm aiming for about a $25 release, which is really good when you're going to see the specs because this is a really nice motor, fully balanced, doesn't even the NTMs just don't even compare. If you're going to be running a camera, you pretty much can't run NTMs anymore. Just the, the adapters are so so out of balance now. I'm not trying to bash the product. It's actually a really good motor. It's just if their balance if their balance was solved, it'd be an amazing uh, thing for multi rotors with cameras on them. But you know, at this point, it, it's such such a pain to try to get them uh, vibration free. So I've got a fully balanced motor here. These things just purr. Um, they're perfect. They really don't have any vibration to them at all. Uh, another thing that I'm going to have is uh, actual NSK Japanese bearings because I just I've gotten sick of dealing with bearings that are going bad and going to seize and you can't trust them. So um, stress testing on this guy. You can see those giant yellow packs hanging down. By the way, I'm hands off. I've actually been hands off for a long time now, and. Uh, those are uh, 4,000, right? Yeah, 4,000 milliamp, four cell, two of them. So that's 8,000 milliamps. This thing should be landing itself at some point. It's been blinking this, the first, first round of protection for a little bit with that red flash, but um, yeah, so. I'm trying to really stress test this stuff, make sure the motors don't overheat, make sure they don't throw a bearing, make sure the ESCs don't overheat. Um, I've done a lot of testing on the ESCs so far, but this is a pretty good load on them. Granted, they're 30 amp ESCs, and these things even right now are probably only pulling uh, six, or maybe eight amps a piece. So the ESCs shouldn't even really be feeling it. They're good for even heavy lift stuff. But um, yeah, my motors should be should be releasing sometime in the next uh, month, month and a half, I hope, depending on how, how production goes. I'm really, really excited about them though. Um, uh, my motors, that is. I'm really excited about the motors. I think they're gonna, gonna be really nice. 25 bucks is gonna get you a really solid motor that'll work really well for aero photography stuff. And um, it should be at a quality that, that you can really trust. So, um, thanks for watching guys. Feel free to visit my website, it's rcmanchild.com. I've got my ESCs for sale. Uh, I'm getting a couple hundred uh, sometime in the next, hopefully three days or so. So, um, I'll be back in stock and, uh, and shipping real quick. So, feel free to back order if you'd like. I have them in stock almost all the time, but Chinese New Year kind of got me screwed there. So, um, thanks for watching. Look at this thing struggle. It's a little bit windy up here. There's probably six or seven mile an hour gusts. But um, it's very turbulent air because you got this funky little cliff and it comes up and swirls over the top here. So this thing's just been struggling to stay in, stay in its place, but it's, it's actually pretty awesome. This has a system inactive warning. If it goes inactive for like five or six minutes, I think, it might be adjustable. So there you go, perfect timing. And um, that's the second or third time that's done that to me. There we go. Yeah, so stress testing, new motors, I'm excited. Um, 
yeah, post in the comments if you have any questions about my setup. I'll be happy to let you know exactly how I did this build. And, um, oh, I really want to start developing some frames. I've got some guys that are really, really, really good engineers, and, uh, and I've got some great ideas, and I'm already in SolidWorks getting my, getting my brain flowing, so expect to see more products. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to, to get a brand going with some trusted stuff and not gouge the industry. There's been too much gouging of the industry. It's just, it's bad. You can't, you can't gouge an industry that's pure passion. I mean, RC is nothing but passion. And the vast majority of people I know that do RC, they do it because it's a love. And even if they don't have the money for it, they find a way. So I really want to be able to make products you can trust for the people that, you know, really shouldn't be buying RC stuff, but still do, like myself. And, um, you know, I think that's a really good core value to hold on to, and, and uh, I hope I can maintain that. So, thanks for watching, guys. You take care. Bye.